What's going on everybody? This is Brian from sneakerfiles.com and in this video we have a compilation of all the holiday 2024 Air Jordan releases. Now before I jump into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below so you'll be kept in the loop of all upcoming releases. Now a good amount of these shoes do have release dates, however, there's also a good amount that don't. So how I broke it down is by month, and then after December, I'm going to have just a holiday 2024 section. I'll explain everything throughout the video. I'll let you guys know if these are mock-ups, if it is a mock-up, if it's accurate, the release date, if there is one, and the retail price. Also, I did say this is a compilation, but there is a possibility that a new shoe could get added in for the holiday 2024 collection or a release date gets moved around. There's definitely going to be a few shoes that have release dates that don't. So in the case that any of that does happen and some of it will, I'll make sure to update you in a future video as well. It'll be updated on sneakerfiles.com. And now let's get into the video. Big thanks to Poison for sponsoring this video. Use the codes on the screen to save $20 off on your purchase. I got a package in the mail today of one of the most anticipated releases of 2024 thanks to the people at Poison. Can you guess what I got? Poison is the leading fashion marketplace for sneakers and luxury goods. With over 300,000 products, they offer some of the best prices. Poison even offers legit checks on your sneakers. What's even better? Not only is the process easy in only two steps, but their online authentication process is free. For a limited time, use the codes on the screen to save $20 off on your purchase. The Bread Reimagined Air Jordan 4 was released in February during All-Star Weekend. As part of the Reimagined series, Jordan Brand answers the question, what if the Black Cement Air Jordan 4 was constructed with leather? Aside from the material change, the color blocking matches the pair Michael Jordan wore to hit the winning shot over Craig Elo in 1989. Poison pays attention to the details. Your shoes will come packaged in a bright blue box with bubble wrap. Poison also offers returns within three days of your item's arrival and offers 24-7 customer support, ensuring your shopping experience is top tier. Inside the box, you will receive an authentication certificate and authentication tags will be attached to the sneakers. Combine Poison's in-house authentication process with their free online authentication service and you'll never have to question again if your kicks are real. Once again, big thank you to Poison for sponsoring this video and don't forget to use my codes on the screen to save up to $20 off on your next purchase. Starting off October, we have the Air Jordan 4 Orchid. Now this is a women's exclusive release and the image you're looking at is an accurate mock-up of what's releasing. So essentially what we have is the color blocking from the UNC Air Jordan 4, also known as University Blue Air Jordan 4, but instead of blue, it features pink. Now the official colorway is Orchid, neutral gray, black and white. It'll feature pink across the entire upper while cement print lands on the eyelets, heel tab, and the upper part of the midsole. Black hits the eyelets and part of the midsole. And then around the air unit, we have white, and finishing the look is a gray rubber outsole. So this pair is currently scheduled to release on October 5th for 215. The next pair for October is the Air Jordan 6 Fire Red. Now the image you're looking at is a mock-up. We don't know the color blocking on this pair just yet. Some people are also calling the shoe Bread. And a lot of the mock-ups that were going around were basically the infrared Air Jordan 6 but a different shade of red. And to me, that doesn't really make sense. I don't think Jordan Brand is going to drop something that resembles the infrared but just a different shade. I know they've done it in the past, but that was more of a mess up on Jordan Brand. That was them trying to recreate the infrared Air Jordan 6, but kind of failed in that department. But there is a chance I'll get the color blocking before images actually leak. But for now, we have this mock-up. As for the release details, this pair is scheduled to release on October 12th. They will be available in full family sizes. So we have men's at 200, grade school at 150, preschool at 90, and toddler sizes will cost 75. 
originally thought to be a mismatched shoe, the Awake NY Jordan Air Ship in Game Royal will also debut in October. So in March, we had the University Red Pair, which is the shoe in the front. And we don't have a great look, but the pair in the back of this image is what's releasing. So basically, from the University Red Pair, just swap that out with Game Royal. And the official colorway is Cell Game Royal in Metallic Platinum. You can expect all the branding that was present on the University Red Pair, as well as the unique detailing throughout. As for a release date, they are scheduled to debut on October 16th, and the retail price will be $150. This is a pair that I'm excited to release. It's the Air Jordan 1 High OG Black Toe Reimagined. Now, the photo you're looking at is a mock-up. However, it's an accurate one of what's releasing. So, what Jordan Brand is doing this time around is they're taking the Black Toe Air Jordan 1 and they're swapping out the Wings logo for Air Jordan. Just the text written on the ankle overlay. And this pair is inspired by the sample of the Black Toe Air Jordan 1 that Michael Jordan had in a photo shoot back in 84 or 85 around that time frame. And the official colorway is black, black, varsity red, and white. Now there is another pair of Jordan 1s that could release. They have a very similar colorway, although we don't have confirmation because what I've noticed lately is some of the colorways and style codes are slightly changing after they have been leaked. So there's a possibility that there's another shoe in a Chicago like color blocking that could be dropping. I just wanted to mention that here because I don't have confirmation on it and I'm not going to have a different segment on it because it just could be the colorway has changed and the style code. But if there is another pair, I'll make sure to update you in a future video. Scheduled to release on October 18th, this pair will be available in full family sizes. So we have men's priced at 180, grade school at 140, preschool at 85, and toddler sizes at 70. We have another Air Jordan 12 releasing this year. This pair will debut in October. And for now, we're calling them the Air Jordan 12 White and Game Royal. Now, I know some Photoshops are going around, and it shows that the Wizards Air Jordan 12 will make a retail release that originally was a PE for Jordan. Now, unfortunately, I did not receive confirmation on that, so I don't know if that part is true or not. I would think if they are going to release, that would have been stated at the meeting that Jordan Brand has every quarter. But instead, we do have the colorway, which is white, black, and game royal. Now, it does match up somewhat to the Wizards PE, or at least it could. But again, we don't have the confirmation. Releasing October 19th, there is a possibility that this pair or the Black Toe Reimagined gets delayed or moved around because it's just back to back. But it probably won't be the Black Toe just because October 18th is known as Band Day. And it's kind of been a tradition now that, well, at least from last year and this year, that Jordan Brand releases a Chicago-like colorway on that day. So for this shoe, October 19th is the release date. They will be available in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at 210, grade school at 150, preschool at 90, and toddler sizes at 75. Also making a return in 2024 is the Air Jordan 9 Olive. We've had a solid lineup of OGs and older retros make a return this year. This colorway is very nice in my opinion. It was originally released in 1993. We saw a first retro of the shoe take place in 2002. And then the last time we saw them release was in 2012. So in 2024, this will be the fourth time that the shoes debut. And the images you're looking at is the 2012 pair. Unfortunately, we don't have photos of the 2024. And the olive is one of four original colorways. So we have the charcoal, we have the OG pair. Some people are calling it Space Jam or just white, black, and red. And then we have the powder blue, which actually returned today at the time of recording this video. I haven't pulled the trigger yet on the powder blue pair. I'm kind of waiting to see if they go on sale, which at this time, it looks like there's a possibility they've been sitting pretty much everywhere. But if you pick them up, congrats, they are a dope shoe. So the official colorway on this pair is black, true red, and light olive. And the release date is October 25th. The retail price in men's sizes is 210. Unfortunately, I haven't received information if they will debut in full family sizes. I believe that they will, but stay tuned for that info.
Now, I know I featured this pair on Friday's video, which was just two days ago, but I needed to obviously put it in this video since it's a roundup of all the releases so far for holiday 2024, and it's the Air Jordan 14 Black Toe. So if you missed Friday's video, there are, is two shoes in that video that I talk about that will be in this one, the Black Toe being one of them, and I'll kind of recap what I talked about in the previous video, but there's other shoes if you want to check that out, not just for holiday 2024, and there's stuff from Nike as well. But for the 2024 return of the shoes, just to answer one of the questions that was being asked prior to, no, this pair will not come with the ribbing on the panels. This will be just like they dropped in 1998. For those that don't know, in 2006, Jordan Brand took this colorway and pretty much add ribbing to the side like you would see on the Candy Cane Air Jordan 14. It was a nice touch, but overall, I'm a fan of the OG look. It's just clean white panels. It just looks dope to me. Also, the images used is the 2014 release, which was the last time that this pair retroed. Scheduled to release on November 2nd, the retail price in men's sizes is 210, while grade school sizes will cost 150. In one of my previous videos, I showcased a first look or what was said to be a first look at the Air Jordan 4 Fear. I'm not going to showcase them in this video because honestly, there is a possibility that those shoes could be fake. There's just something off on it. Everybody commented and said the same. People weren't sure exactly what it was. Some people pointed out the netting and the overall shape. So just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to include them. I know where the images came from. Typically, he shows authentic stuff. So that kind of threw me for a loop. Anyways, we do have the return of the Air Jordan 4 Fear. So this pair originally released in 2013 and was part of the Fear Pack, which includes the Air Jordan 4, the Air Jordan 3, and the Air Jordan 5. The pack is inspired by the 2008 Become Legendary campaign, and in 2023, we saw the return of the Air Jordan 3 Fear 2024. We're going to see the return of the Air Jordan 4 Fear, and possibly the Air Jordan 5 in 2025. If they keep going in this pattern, it has to be. Again, that's not confirmed. It's just a pattern that I've noticed, and I'm sure a lot of you as well. So they are expected to come just like they did in 2013. The only difference is that we'll have an updated shape, which is a plus in my opinion. And the official colorway is black, white, anthracite, black, and pure platinum. Scheduled to release on November 9th, they will be available in full family sizes. So we have men's priced at 215, grade school at 160, preschool is 100, and toddler sizes will cost 85. In November, Jordan Brand is releasing a new iteration of the Air Jordan 1 High OG Olive, and shown is what we can expect to hit retailers. Now, this is a mock-up, but again, it is an accurate one of what's releasing. The official colorway is Medium Olive, Black, and Summit White. The shoes will feature white across the base. We have olive on the overlays, eye stays, ankle, and around the heel, while black fills in the swoosh, collar, wings, and the laces. Other details includes a white midsole and an olive rubber outsole. Now, these are clean. I definitely like the color blocking as well. They probably won't be too difficult to pick up. I've noticed that, obviously, you guys have as well. The hype for the Air Jordan 1 has died off. That isn't a bad thing if you're a fan of the model. It'll make it easier to get these releases. Now, unless it's a Travis collab, then that's something different. Yeah, that shoe's going to get bought up every time. But if you're interested in grabbing this pair, they drop on November 16th, and the retail price in men's sizes will be 180, while grade school sizes will cost 140. Depending on what you like, this might be the number one release of November, potentially all of holiday 2024, and that is the return of the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. So there's a lot of information that has been going around about this shoe. And I did cover it in a previous video, but if you missed that, I'll cover it here. And originally for holiday 2024, we had the Air Jordan 3 Black Cat returning. Now, for some reason, Jordan Brand decided to switch it up. And instead, they delayed the release of the Air Jordan 3 Black Cat, which will now debut in spring 2025. And then they added in the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. Now, 
This shoe was originally expected to be part of the reimagined series. At the time, we didn't know how they were going to be reimagined, if they were going to come aged or with different materials. Some people suggested that they could come with nubuck or suede across the upper. There was an early sample, I think in the mid-2000s, maybe a little bit later than that, maybe even 2010 around that era, that featured nubuck. It was an interesting look, and since this is a popular model in an OG colorway, I'm sure they would eventually sell out. However, if you look at the Air Jordan 1 High OG Royal Reimagined, it didn't go so well for that shoe. Yeah, that's an entirely different shoe, but when those retroed in 2017, I believe, in the OG style, everyone bought them. I love that shoe. And the material change just wasn't a hit on that particular model. Now, it probably wouldn't be as popular on the Air Jordan 3, but again, I do believe it would sell out. Fast forward to present day, and the good news is that this pair will not be reimagined. They're just going to come in the OG form with an updated shape. The last time we saw these shoes released was in 2018, so not that long ago. The 2018 pair did come with Nike Air branding, but the shape wasn't as great as the OG pair, and even some of the pairs that are releasing currently. Now, I do have the 2018 pair. I actually have them dead stock. I haven't even worn them yet, but with an updated shape, that's enough for me to want to grab these as well. So yeah, I totally intend on buying them. And as for the release date, they will drop on November 23rd and they will be available in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at 220. They've gone up 10 bucks on this shoe. They gone up five on the fours and 10 on this pair with the OG branding. But the retail price for grade school is 150. Preschool will cost 90 and toddler sizes will cost 75. Also, the image you're looking at is not the 2024 release. This is the 2018. Now we're in December, and to start the month off, we have a women's exclusive of the Air Jordan 12 releasing. This pair is known as Phantom, and the official colorway is Phantom Metallic Gold and White. So the image you're looking at is a mock-up. Currently, the specific blocking is unknown for this shoe. It could look totally different than the image shown. But I wouldn't be mad if this colorway released. It's very simple, very clean. The only drawback would be the white outsole and probably not the best shoe to wear during the holiday season or even early spring since it's still raining a lot. But hey, that's just my opinion. And as for the release details, this pair will debut on December 2nd and the retail price will be 200 The second pair that was featured in my video on Friday and I'm going to feature here is the Air Jordan 5 Black Cat. Now, there is a lot of talk about this shoe. A lot of people are excited about the release. However, the image used is a mock-up. I did state this in the Friday video, but I'll state all the info again here. And what I was told was that the 2024 release won't look like this. This is from my sources, and I got this information after the mock-up was already going around uh, about a month or so ago. And unfortunately, I couldn't get an accurate description of what they look like. So that's the reason why I'm still using the image. But I'm making sure to state it every time I feature the shoe, so there's no confusion, and at least to keep you guys in the loop of things. Now there's one thing I hope they don't do, and I hope this pair does not feature a blue icy translucent outsole. Now, even though they won't look like this, the official colorway is anthracite, black, and off noir. So this is going to be a blacked out shoe, hence the black cat nickname. So if you got black throughout, don't put icy blue on the outsole. Please don't do it. Now as for the release details, this pair will debut on December 7th. They will be available in full family sizes, so we have men's priced at 210, grade school at 160, preschool at 100, and toddler sizes will cost 85. This shoe also has a lot of potential to be the number one release of holiday 2024. However, in my opinion and from what I'm seeing going around, this might be one of the least liked of the OG colorways of the Air Jordan 11. So possibly the Air Jordan 3 black cement takes the throne, but we also have the return of the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blue, aka Columbia. Now, why I'm saying Legend Blue, aka Columbia, is because the official colorway. 
So for the 2024 pair, once again, the shoes will feature Legend Blue. And the specific colorway is White, Legend Blue, and Black. Now, I'm not sure why they can't use the name Columbia Blue. I've heard a couple reasons. One being that it's not trademarked. However, somebody stated that they saw some UNC attire from Nike that featured Columbia Blue on the colorway. The other part I've heard is that it's an inappropriate term. Again, I'm not sure how this is inappropriate. I know in a recent video I talked about that Jordan Brand is calling the Air Jordan 4 industrial blue instead of military blue because they can find that offensive. Again, I still don't understand why that's offensive. Even though the military blue on the box label, it will say military blue and not industrial blue, but yeah, there's that. I still feel, although the colorway is legend blue, we can interchange it to Columbia blue. Now, this retro is not going to be like the 2014 pair. It's actually going to be closer to the original release, which first dropped in 1996. I know some people say that the Columbia and Legend Blue are two different models. I know Jordan Brand's attempt was to recreate the Columbia, but I'll be honest, they failed. But that was the attempt. Now, as for a release date, this pair is scheduled to release on December 14th. They will be available in full family sizing and there's going to be a ton of pairs available. So if you go after every Air Jordan 11 that drops around holiday season, don't pay resale for this pair. You'll definitely be able to get them and the retail price will be 230 Now for this part of the video, unfortunately we don't have release dates for these shoes. However, a release will take place between October and December of 2024 unless the shoes get delayed or pushed forward. I highly doubt any of these will get pushed forward, but delayed, there's always that possibility. So the first pair that we're going to go over is the Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Mocha. Now the image used is a mock-up, however it's an accurate one of what's releasing. So the pair features a white and dark mocha color combination. And they'll feature white across the leather upper. And then we have Mocha on the swoosh logo, liner, heel tab, Nike Air branding on the tongue, and the rubber outsole. Lastly, a white midsole completes the look. Now, like I mentioned, no release date. Holiday 2024 is when they're expected to drop. And the retail price will be 160 The second pair of the Air Jordan 1 Low 85 that will debut during holiday season is known as Metallic Black. Shown is a mock-up, however, it's an accurate one of what's releasing. Featuring white leather on the upper, we have black metallic patent-like detailing on the swoosh logo and the back heel tab. More black is used on the liner and the Nike Air branding on the tongue, and then we have a gray rubber outsole to complete the look. The official colorway is white, black, neutral gray. You guys might remember I talked about this shoe a couple months ago. I didn't know how they were going to look but this is an accurate representation of what's to come. So holiday 2024 and the retail price will be 160. For holiday 2024, Jordan brand will remix the Air Jordan 13 Chutney. Now there's a couple things for the 2024 pair. They won't come like the OG. For example, they'll be in mid top form instead of low. And for the mid top pair, they'll feature reflective 3M detailing and mesh on the panels. So the panels will be done in black. We have tumbled leather on the toe box, also done in black. More black hits the tongue, liner, and the pods. And then chutney and suede will cover the lower part of the shoe, part of the midsole, heel, and the medial side. They'll also feature the signature hologram on the ankle. The official colorway is black, chutney, and white. And they'll drop holiday 2024. The retail price will be 200 so we have the Black Cement Air Jordan 3 dropping, but we also have the Air Jordan 3 Brown Cement. Now shown is a mock-up. We don't know how they'll actually look, but the official colorway is Baroque Brown, Cement Gray, Black, and Cell. So a release could take place anywhere between October and December, and the retail price will be 210 We have another Game Royal pair of Air Jordans releasing. This time it's the Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Now, the image you're looking at is a mock-up. We don't know how they're actually going to look. However, I wouldn't be mad if they dropped just like this. Hopefully they do. Now, the official colorway is white, black, 
Game Royal in Cell. So there is some potential that the midsole will actually feature cell detailing, giving it an aged look. And as for the release details, Holiday 2024 is when they're expected to drop. The retail price is 140 and they will be available in full family sizing. The Air Jordan 1 High OG Shadow will also return during the holiday season, however, with a satin makeover. This will be a women's exclusive release, and the images used is not the 2024 release. Now, this is a classic colorway, but I don't expect them to sell well. In 2023, Jordan Brand released the Eric Jordan 1 High OG Satin Bread, and those didn't do well at all. Now, that was a dope shoe, and this is a dope pair as well. It's just that people weren't feeling the satin, I guess. But like I mentioned, they will drop in women's sizing during the holiday season, and the retail price will be $180. Jordan Brand is releasing a new iteration of the Air Jordan 4. This pair is known as Net, and one of the first colorways, actually the first colorway is dubbed White, and the specific colorway used is White Phantom in Metallic Gold. So similar to the Air Jordan 12 Phantom that's dropping in December, and the image used is a mock-up, however, it's pretty close to what's actually releasing. Now the shoes will feature a shroud on the upper which features net detailing and they will come with the metallic gold Jumpman hang tag. Other than that, there's basically white and phantom throughout. It's a very clean looking shoe. And if you don't mind the netting on the upper, then this is a dope pickup. So this pair will drop in women's sizing and they'll be released during the holiday season for 210. Another pair getting a remix that's an OG colorway and dropping in women's sizing is the Air Jordan 11 Bread Velvet. Now the image used is a mock-up, but it's an accurate one of what's releasing. So what we have here is the OG Air Jordan 11 Bread, also known as Black and Red or Playoffs, but it features velvet detailing. Now the shoes will come dressed in a black, gym red, and white color combination. And pretty much throughout, they'll feature velvet all done in black, and then we'll have white on the midsole, some of the branding, and then red will fill in the Jumpman on the ankle and across the rubber outsole. When I initially leaked this shoe, a lot of people were excited, but also upset because it's a women's exclusive. They don't really care that they feature velvet. Personally, I think they're dope. I like them. Velvet is different, but it actually doesn't look bad on the 11s. For example, we have the Velvet aka Night Maroon Air Jordan 11, which was also a women's exclusive debut, and those are clean. So, holiday 2024 is when they're going to drop, and the retail price will be 230 Howard University is releasing their very own Air Jordan 1 Low OG during the holiday season. To my knowledge, this will be the first time that a HBCU and Jordan brand connect to have an official release. I know Nike's done it in the past. Shown is a mock-up. However, the mock-up is based off of the player exclusive that was designed in 2023 and gifted to the women's basketball team. And from my source, they told me that this is what's also dropping during the holiday season. There was nothing labeled as a women's exclusive, so they're going to drop in men's sizing. And the official colorway is white, gym red, midnight navy, neutral gray, cell, and muslin. So expected to release during the holiday season. Also, the retail price is said to be 140 However, I wouldn't be surprised if it was bumped up to 150 or even 160 since it is a collab, but more on that soon. Soulfly has another collaboration with Jordan Brand, and it's going to be on the Air Jordan 12. Now, I gave you guys teasers about this collaboration for maybe a month or two. I wasn't able to leak it right away. I wanted to get more information and the image used is just a mock-up. We don't know how it's actually going to look. And the mock-up is based off of the colorway, which is white, baroque, brown, and cell. Now, I'm sure that they're going to have some very unique designs throughout, do something incredible. But unfortunately, I wasn't given specific details on the collaboration, like what it's inspired by and stuff like that. More than likely, we won't find that out till later on this year. But they are going to drop Holiday 2024, and the retail price will be 225 The last pair for this video, we have another upcoming Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG collaboration. This pair is known as Pell Vanilla. Now again, the image used is a mock-up. However, we don't know how they're actually going to look. 
But what I've noticed is that images of these upcoming Travis Scott collabs have been leaking a lot sooner than expected compared to other shoes, at least the first look. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a first look maybe within a month or two, or it could take until almost the release date, which we don't have at this time. But like the other pairs, they will drop during the holiday season. Now, the official colorway is Pell Vanilla Black Cream 2 in Muslin, and the retail price will be 150 Let me know your thoughts on this pair. If they drop just like the mock-up, would you buy? And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Also, if you haven't done so yet, turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Like I mentioned early on, there's a possibility that these release dates do get moved around or we have a new shoe part of the holiday 2024 collection added in. So in the case that it does happen, I'll make sure to update you on an upcoming video. So make sure to subscribe if you're not and it'll be updated on sneakerfiles.com. So which is your most anticipated pair for the holiday season? For me, it's going to be the Air Jordan 14 Black Toe and then the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. Both of those shoes are definitely dope. I'm a huge fan of the OG colorways. I know a lot of you guys are as well. And personally, I think November is the strongest month of the holiday season. Both of those shoes will drop in November. We also have the Air Jordan 4 Fear. That's another great addition. So let me know down below. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave that down below as well. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.